Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Gemini. Here are your cards from the Teacup Tarot for this week, starting the 18th of September. And what a lovely overall energy for you. One of the best cards in the whole deck. 19, the sun. This is about success. This is about you reaping the rewards of your hard work. Here she is on the card look, the sunflowers that she's planted so diligently are now flowering. This card also says, get ready to act on those brand new ideas. So success and moving forward with new ideas. Your help or your hurdle, the eight of pencils says, don't let any negativity hold you back either yours or anybody else's. You need to have the self-belief. You need to focus on yourself with the mantra, oh, yes, I can, and not let any old negativity hold you back. The Four of Coins says focus on balance. This is a card that says you need to focus on too much or too little and strike a balance right down the middle. So we're talking about work-life balance. We're talking about financial balance. How much time do you give to others without taking time out for yourself? All of that needs considering this week. How can we help ourselves? We've got the strength card. Kindness brings results. This is you standing up for yourself, being gently and kindly assertive. When you use assertiveness and kindness together, you're going to get a lot further, a lot faster. But this card says, stand up, stand tall, stand up for yourself and do so in a kind, assertive and loving way. Know that you have all the resources that you need. You need to focus on what you do have. Look, she's so focused here on this empty piggy bank. She hasn't realised she's sitting on three coins and there are two right behind her. So get your focus in a positive place. Ask for any help if you need it. That's a real sign of strength. And know that you have all the resources you need. The final outcome card is lovely. It's one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's emotional fulfillment. It's happy families. It's happy home life. Quality time with loved ones and trustworthy relationships. So just looking at the tarot cards on their own. Success happiness, attaining your goals, reaching the finishing line after you've run a long race. And it also says, get ready to act on those brilliant new ideas. Don't let any negativity or anybody else's hold you back. Focus on balance. Know that you've got the resources that you need. Think all that through carefully and stand up for yourself. Be assertive, because when you mix all those together, the outcome is joy, happiness and emotional fulfilment. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The Six of Action is lovely. That's the victory card. Just what I was saying here, enjoying the results of your hard work. Victory and success. The 18 of Wisdom card here is about you releasing what you don't need anymore. Look, she's on a flying carpet and she's letting go of anything that's been weighing her down. And these are things like fear and doubt, self-sabotage, might be people-pleasing, negativity. 
when she gets rid of all those heavy things, she can fly higher and she can fly faster. The three of life is about teamwork, working together. You've been brilliant at what you do, working creatively. So working together with others can be really key information for you this week. The 11 of wisdom, the strength card, two together, double message, using kindness to get results, be confident, be strong, be assertive. And when you put all those together, here we are, the one of life, a wonderful new opportunity, abundance coming in, new opportunities coming in for you. And this is you peeping around the door. You can stand behind the door of opportunity forevermore. But the one of life card says, open that door and walk through. And your final outcome card, the four of emotion says, stand back, look at the bigger picture and be awake for wonderful new opportunities coming your way. These opportunities might come from a different direction than you're expecting. So step back, stand back, take a breath, have a cup of tea and look at the bigger picture. And here, look, here are the opportunities flying in. She's looking through binoculars here on the card. And here's the good news and the even better news coming in to find her. So looking at your reading overall, your mindfulness homework, not allowing any negativity to hold you back, releasing any old habits of thought, any guilt, any doubt, any fear, standing up for yourself, being kind and assertive, Asking for help if you need it and striking a balance in finance, in work, in how much time you're giving to others. You don't have to do it on your own. Teamwork makes the dream work because here is the success. Here is the happiness. Here is the emotional fulfillment, the happy home life joy and happiness and here is the wonderful opportunity just waiting for you walking through the door of opportunity so have a fantastic week gemini lovely cards here thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for subscribing it makes a huge difference to me and it's lovely to have you and i'll see you here again soon so take care